tubes. Got a little video today. This is not, uh, uh, what I've done here is uh, I'm doing a comparison between two uh, filters, Air oil filters. We've got a Fram uh, PH7317 and a SuperTech 6607. Um, these are both from the same car. Um, the 6607 is just like a secondary uh, for the car. They're both from a Nissan Maxima, a 2001 Nissan Maxima. It's, um, the only difference really is the profile of the, the 6607 is a little bit shorter. Um, so now let's go in to it. Uh, let's go look at the first look at the Fram. We've got our uh, end pretty thick. It's got a um, some uh, it's got a gasket here. This is probably some sort of uh, nitrate or um, on it nitrate rubber. Um, now let's get into and the, the, these frames have a nice little this nice grip. Let's go take a look at the filter itself. Okay, the the material of the filter is I can't tell you how big it is. I don't have anything to measure it. Just squeezing it, it feels durable. Um, now here's our filter itself. We've got a um, flow back valve here. That's for if you um, you if, if this filter gets clogged, you'll get unfiltered oil through it still, uh, but you'll still get oil. Um, these here is kind of a uh, pressed metal. This is going to be sharp, so um, that's why I'm wearing gloves. And when we have our filter media here, and I don't know if you can see this inside. It's it's got a metal inside, but these end caps are just glued on, or well, I ultrasonically welded, and that, that I don't I'm not a big fan of that. I prefer it to be metal. Um, so the, the pleats, you know, look to be fairly, um, okay. Uh, this is a little bit here, but that's probably because of when I was trying to get it out. Um, so now let's compare this and it goes in like this. Let's compare this. Oh, and here's your anti drain back valve. This is what keeps the oil in the oil filter when you, um, when you turn off your engine, so it's pretty primed. So it goes like that, and this is this looks to be like a like a like a, like a silicone material, which is a good material. So here's the SuperTech. the The Fram was 388, and and the SuperTech is 297 when I purchased them. Okay. This uh, end, uh, you know, this end here is feels real strong. It maybe feels even stronger than the Fram. And I'm not dissing Fram. I used been using them for years. Uh, just, um, nitrate rubber gasket here. Our anti drain back valve was probably a nitrate rubber, not a silicone. And our filter material. This is a smaller filter. Here's our anti drain back valve here. With, and this is going to be sharp. So, again, why I'm wearing gloves. And your filter medial, media. I like the steel end caps. This seems to be very neatly put in. Um, I haven't counted the pleats, I'm not going to. And the insides, uh, the core. Let me see if I can get this in the light. It's a nylon core, which uh, is probably okay. It's um, uh, it probably flows better than the steel on the frame because the frame frame is it has smaller holes on it. So the um, The uh, casing, metal, 
about comparable. So, in conclusion, I think the Super Tech filters are pretty good for what they are. Um, I wouldn't necessarily use them for 10,000 miles, um, but that's just me. I might use it for five. Uh, and same goes for the Fram. Uh, even though it says 10,000, I, I personally would go to maybe 5,000. I change mine every three to 4,000 miles. Con I use conventional uh, oil. Uh, it's a high mileage car. Um, so make up your own mind. Um, typically what I do, because the SuperTech filter is uh, cheaper, it's 297. Um, yeah, it's cheaper than the Fram. Fram this Fram was the, it almost is like 388 or four, about four bucks, uh, and the SuperTech is about a dollar less. So I typically use the SuperTech. Yeah. So make up your own mind, uh, but yeah, this gives you an idea of what's it, what's in a fil oil filter. Later tubes.